men like Richard Davis. Richard is one of the most successful manufacturers of body armor in the 20th century. Okay, camera people. Three, two, one. Time and time again, he's put bullets where his mouth is to prove the value of his vests. I think it's 201 times from the shot total. But that's like, you know, asking a 63-year-old professional boxer how many fights he's had. Richard's fascination with body armor goes back nearly four decades. On July 15, 1969, the world was watching Apollo 11 as it blasted off to land the first men on the moon. Meanwhile, in downtown Detroit, Richard Davis was a humble pizza delivery boy. Others followed every step of the Apollo mission, but Richard hit the pavement with another stack of boxes. It was a night that would end in tragedy. The night after Apollo 11 blasted off of the moon, the next night I had to do some blasting on my own. I came up to a house and uh, there's nobody home. And I heard somebody around the side of the house. And I had a piece of sort of here like this. And I had the 22 revolver in my waistband here. So I said, did you guys order pizza? And they said, yeah, bring it around back. I'm still hoping it's time that these guys are going to hand me 10 bucks and uh, I'll get the pizza and that'll be the end of it. There's three guys uh, standing in uh, sort of V formation. I was uh, probably about five or six feet away from him. And all I did is look at this guy with his nickel plated automatic looking right square in my face. Didn't look at him, didn't look at his friends, looking right at his hands. Keeps the gun leveled right at me. Just look at his hand. And then his hand just started tightening around the gun. And I knew that was it. Nineteen sixty nine, downtown Detroit. Richard Davis, a pizza delivery boy, is staring down the barrel of a gun. It's a fight he's ready for. I had to shoot him in the head. Hit him in the chin somewhere and came inside his jaw, came out his ear. The second one was about an inch off his heart. The third shot was a little bit too fast. And the fourth shot hit the second guy. He just turned around like this immediately. Now he still has hands back here, so I didn't know if he was gonna come up empty-handed. Or if he's going to come around, he's got a gun. Hit him right dead center in the spine, right there. Bullet lodged between the two vertebrae right behind his heart. He went face down in the concrete. In a brave act of self-defense, Richard wiped out one of Detroit's most feared gangs. Shocked by the ordeal, the pizza boy began cooking up a plan. My goal then was just to deliver pizza and make, make an honest living in Detroit after dark. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> but... but uh, the, what I realized then was that uh, you know, policemen were out there getting, getting killed all the time. Richard realized there was a real need for body armor and began developing concealable vests that could be worn 24 hours a day. My idea was designed that you're, you're going to give up the uh, really high-powered rounds, you're going to give up side coverage, and all the way down to the groin and knees and everything. You've got to give that up. We're just going to cover the critical kill zone. We're going to 